Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Grizzo's Cards. Today I'm doing another Beckett Marketplace review. Uh, this time I ordered cards from Diamonds in the Rough, based, based out of Tigger, Oregon. Uh, so I went online, looked for a bunch of Barry Larkin. Uh, you know, it's been about six weeks or so since I ordered this. Uh, so I can't really, I assume it's all Larkins. I think I got some Jermaine Allen's work and some Carl Erskins, maybe a Pete Rose or two. So we've got some packing peanuts. Uh, so it was shipped nicely. It looks like we got a lot of cards and sleeves. That's awesome. I like to see that's probably the best shipping I've seen on Beckett Marketplace order so far. I will be honest though, uh, I was a little worried about this order, whether it was coming or not. I got a shipping notification about eh, maybe five days after I ordered it and two weeks went by, no tracking was provided. I was on vacation, so I was like, well, maybe I'll show up. USPS has been a little slow. It should get here eventually. Um, and by the time I got back from vacation, it still hadn't come, but then it did show up. It looks like I ordered it on like May 14th. They actually didn't ship it till like May 28th, and then I got like three days later. So, you know, a little miscommunication on shipping. Tracking number would have been nice. So maybe they just hit that shipped uh, notification too soon. So first off, I did get my packing list. Uh, it's been a while since I've ordered these cards. So I don't remember exactly what they are. But first off, I got this Barry Larkin coin. And very nice. They shipped it in this little coin holder, which is awesome. Because I'm pretty sure this coin was like 50 cents. Uh, this is a 1990 Topps coin. And they threw it in this big old thick top loader too. So you guys get an A plus on shipping materials. That's for sure. Uh, let's... Go and see what we got here. Uh, this one on the front, this Jumbo, California Jumbo Sunflower Seeds Bray Arc. It's kind of why I keep my order off. Usually I go look for a card specifically that I'm looking for and find a dealer that has good prices on Beckett.com. Then just kind of go through their inventory. I pull up my checklist on tradingcarddatabase.com and just kind of go through my collection and see what holes I can fill. So we're not looking at anything big price cards here uh you know a lot of 50 cent cards but definitely just trying to go back and fill some holes in my collection so this is the jumbo california sunflower seeds uh this was from 1991 you know unlicensed card but i remember seeing these back in the day but i never got that one but you know all appears all these cards are sleeved and very nice i'm really happy with their packaging uh here we have a 1986 Pete Rose that shows this card. I actually had this card and I thought I had two of it and I sold one on eBay. It turns out I didn't have multiple so I had to give up my one personal collection card and just went out and picked this one up. Uh, next we have a 1984 Fleer, Tony Perez, Pete Rose, and Joe Morgan. Look at them all in the Phillies. Reds reunited. Uh, here we have, oh man, that was a miscut card. But that's okay. Uh, we have Pete and Repeat there with Pete Re Rose Jr. Uh, this is an 82 tops, I believe. Yep, 82 tops. Pete Rose. Uh, this is an 82 Fleer, I want to say. Or 83. Uh, Willie Stargell and Pete Rose. Then we have a Kellogg's uh, 3D Superstars Pete Rose there. Let's flip her around. All right, we have a counterparts from Leaf Limited, Jermaine Allensworth. So I think I've thrown off a few Allensworth cards on previous orders, but he's from my hometown, so I went to high school with him, and so I do collect his cards. We have a Barry Larkin Top Stadium Club. We have 1996 World Series. That's a very Asia, I believe. Here's another one from that same year. This dealer, they had a lot of kind of different exclusives um for tops cards that i was looking for so that's why i was happy to pick up all of those here's another stadium club just a subset uh, we have a car erskine <laughs> this looks like it could come out this year and this year's tops so that's a 52 reprint out of 95 tops i think that was it okay insert set maybe or maybe that was tops archives 
Oh, look at that shine on this one. 95 score. I forget what the parallel was called. Um, I can't read what it says on there. I'll have to look at my list later. Next, we have a Denny's hologram. Barry Larkin. Let me know in the comments if you ever went to Denny's in the 90s to get baseball cards. I used to have my parents drive me to closest Denny's. It was about a yeah, half hour away from our house, but we'd go down there and get some Denny's and get some cards. Here we have a Triple Play 94 medalist. We have Larkin, Jay Bell, and Jeff Blauser. We have a Kraft Singles, Barry Larkin. I don't know how I didn't get this because growing up we ate a lot of Kraft Singles. I'm sure I have some cards, but don't have that one. It looks like you can pull it up there and view his stats. This is a believe, 1994. Yep. SP die cut. Then we have a 93 tops Larkin and Travis Fryman. And this is from inaugural year of the Colorado Rockies. If you can kind of see that, it has the Rockies logo there. Uh, this is the regular 93 base with the inaugural seal for Larkin and the Rockies that I was able to get. This one is the Florida Marlins one. So they each had that for their inaugural year. I know they did something similar with the D-backs and the Rays. Uh, I can't remember if I got any of those in this order or not, but we'll see. But I'm definitely on the lookout for those. Here we have a Ted Williams set, if you remember that from the 90s. Carl Erskine. There's another different year, Craft Singles, Larkin. Yeah, I'm just impressed I don't have those for some reason. Uh, we have the Cola Collection, Barry Larkin. We have a 93 Upper Deck. This one is a gold hologram, I believe. Yeah, you can kind of see it up there. That's the only thing different than the regular one is the gold hologram. Then we have a Carl Erskine. This is out of Topps Archives Quadra card. We got Erskine, Jackie Jensen, George Kell, and Ad Al Schoendites. Then we have Drake's Big Hitters, Pete Rose, second annual edition. Got some Ray on the back there. That's from 82. All right, the rest of the cards. We got Bernie Williams counterparts, but. I'm not wasn't really after Bernie Williams. I was after Jermaine Allen's work. Looks like that is a refractor, I assume. Okay, it's been a while since I ordered these. So I'm gonna have to go back and look at my order list. Uh, Carl Erskine, Diamond Kings. We have a Prime Cuts playoff Prime Cuts 2008. Uh, looks pretty much like the same photo there. <laughs> uh, Panini definitely uses Ray same photos I've noticed, especially with Carl Erskine. It seems like, man, he's Diamond Kings year to year. It's the same picture. This is a Topps All-Stars. Erskine. We have an upper deck. I forget which set this was out of. Got another upper deck Erskine. And we have a Jermaine Allen's work. So we got two of these. So here's the inaugural season, so you can kind of see the double rays and the Diamondbacks logos on there. So I was able to get both of his. Uh, here's the rays for Barry Larkin. They did not have the D-backs one, so I'm still going to need to hunt that down. Uh, the base, Jermaine Allensworth. Uh, upper deck. Gold medallion, 97 Flare Ultra. Here we have... I believe this is 97 tops, Barry Larkin base that I didn't have. We have a Pacific Collection, Jermaine Allensworth, Metal Universe. Let's say it's a 97 finest. Got another finest Barry Larkin Warriors. And we got a couple micro cards here. Jermaine Allensworth and then another Archives, Carl Erskine. So then we got couple, what is this, 93, 90, this might be 92, let me see, what, get the base card here, yeah, 92, these little tiny micro cards of Bayark, and I remember seeing these sets, um, yeah, I, 
who thought that was a good idea to make these tiny little sets? I'm sure somebody liked them. I'm not personally a huge fan. I put them in my binder and they kind of float around, but it is what it is. You got to get everything right. So, yeah, overall, other than the shipping delay, I'm very happy with this order. They came super well packaged. Uh, great variety of cards. I like being able to get some of those oddball craft singles and definitely the tops with the printing on there for the inaugural seasons of Rays, Rockies, Marlins, D-backs. I guess I didn't get any D-backs this time, but definitely cool. Uh, you know, if you're looking to fill some base cards or you got older players that you're looking for, definitely check out Beckett.com. You can get some good deals on there. Look for dealers with low free shipping and drop me a comment. Let me know what you think of this order. Uh, if you have dealers that you like on Beckett, drop those in the comments as well. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I got more content on the way, and we'll see you next time.